So, I'm not sure if I thought of this when I was dreaming last night or just rolling around in bed, but for some reason, the idea that the long-term carnivores were lying came to me. How are these people on the diet for 10, 15, 20 years without any proof or credibility? They claim to be long-term carnivores, but don't really have an understanding of the diet past a beginner level. Now, I didn't really remember this after I woke up, but coincidentally, and guys, I've rarely had this happen in my life. A viewer emailed me about this. And when I saw that email, I was like, huh? Because I, I dreamed about this last night. I was like, hold on, am I losing my mind? And for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Andersons, uh, they're long-term 20-year carnivores. Before I get into this, I want to say that Joe and Charlene Anderson have a lovely family, two beautiful children, something I would personally like to have in the future. But that doesn't exclude them from misleading people into following a poisonous grain-fed carnivore diet. Putting up their family as a shield is no excuse for what's going on here. I know there's going to be some clown trying to discredit me like, oh my god, Frank is the big, bad, scary, bad boy from New York, but that, that's not what this is. <laughs> Where is it? This person emailed me a tweet from Joe Anderson. In the tweet, Joe claims the picture on the left is from 1998, you know, when his wife Charlene started the carnivore diet. On the right, it's a picture he's claiming is from 2017, after 20 years on the carnivore diet. This person that emailed me pointed out a Remax logo in the background. That's a real estate company. He also showed me that Remax changed their logo from their original 1978 logo in 2005 as well as 2017. And if we zoom in on the picture, the logo is clearly not the 1978 logo. The question is, was this picture taken in 2005 or was this picture taken in 2017? So Joe is probably lying here by at least seven years, possibly 19 if it's the newer logo. And I was thinking from those like FBI shows that I could like zoom in and edit the picture and, and figure out what the sign says and contact the real estate agent, but uh, I don't think that's a real thing. Uh, the other problem with this picture is, you know, it's a really high quality digital picture from 1998. Uh, the person that emailed me also speculated that the quality of the camera was from around 2010. And I can't thank this person enough for giving me this information. Uh, they really wanted to stay anonymous, uh, so I'm granting them that wish. Now, I tried to do some research and figure out where this picture was taken. That way I could figure out the address of the home that was for sale and therefore know when Remax listed the home. That would answer the question of when the picture was taken. So if Joe Anderson would like to reveal the address of that house across the street, then we would know when the picture was approximately taken. I don't want to reveal where he used to live or his past addresses for privacy reasons, not that they deserve privacy at this point, but if you guys reach out to me, I can point you in the right direction to research this. Uh, granted, Joe doesn't come forward and admit you know, what's going on here. Even someone on Twitter noticed this discrepancy. He said the photo on the left looks like it's from 2017, while the photo on the right looks like some older scanned photo from 1998, and he could very well be right. In response to this, Joe claims he owned two digital cameras in 1998, but here is a picture he posted from him in 1996 that is very low quality. Now, I don't know if this picture was taken on the digital cameras he allegedly had in the 90s, but it's certainly lower quality than the picture he claims to have taken merely two years later in 1998. Joe posted this picture on Instagram on March 11th, 2019, saying it's of Charlene when they lived in Indiana. Indiana several years ago. If you see her stomach, it's much closer to the initial picture that was taken in 1998. But this was only a few years ago. They're claiming to have been carnivore for 20 years, so why did she suddenly lose her weight, get tight, fit, and toned in the recent few years? Now, Charlene had kids. They're around five and seven years old. And no offense, but her stomach in the before picture looks like someone that had children. But she just had kids five and seven years ago, not in 1998 when this picture was allegedly taken. So, you know, this gets really foggy. You know, was this picture taken, you know, after 2013, after 2015, when she had those children? Someone on Reddit posted that Joe had some work done on his face, and I remember seeing this on other social media as well. I'm not sure how true it is, and there's nothing wrong with getting fillers in your face, 
the guy looks great regardless of that. But this got me thinking that I've never seen a woman go from a stomach like that before picture, you know, with loose skin, flabby, to a tight and toned stomach that she now has without surgery. I've been a personal trainer for almost 10 years now, never seen it happen. So, you know, if Joe's willing to get some work done and various procedures, it's possible she had a tummy tuck or something else. Who knows? As we said earlier, that first picture was taken at the latest in 2005, but more likely after she had children considering what her stomach looked like. If I had to really guess, I would bet that picture was taken sometime in the late 2010s, and the carnivore diet didn't fix the loose skin on her stomach. There's no way. I think Joe Anderson has a little bit of explaining to do, and I bet these carnivores are just going to double down on their nonsense, as that's what they do when confronted about their lies. So if Joe Anderson is lying about when the picture was taken, what else is Joe Anderson willing to lie about? Is he willing to lie to get a quick check from big meat companies to fabricate a carnivore diet success story? None of this adds up. It's unfortunate that this family brought themselves into this because now they're open to criticism. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. No one really knew about these people in the carnivore community, you know, before 2017. And these 10, 15 year carnivores are just popping out of the woodwork. Like that stuff doesn't happen. I was making YouTube videos four years ago. You know, I was carnivore two to three years before that. What's really creeping me out is I literally dreamt about this last night when I was sleeping and that person emailed me today, so I, I really don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm starting to think I actually am crazy. Uh, but if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and of course, share this video because these carnivores are lying. And they've been caught in their lies many, many times. And they seem to just double down and people still believe them because they have so much corporate sponsorship and money behind them. You know, if someone goes on Joe Rogan and tells you something and Frankie Boy is screaming his lungs out, on the street, you know, no one's going to hear me. Uh, so you guys can check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, which is a testament to my seven years following this diet. So definitely check that out in the description, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wasn't really planning on doing this, but uh, that's how some things go, boys. That's how some things go, unfortunately.